Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today we're taking a look at the Pococo Home Planetarium Galaxy Projector. You load discs into it and it projects the night sky onto your ceiling and pretend like you're in the middle of nowhere stargazing. These home planetariums are different from the popular laser star projectors, which I've reviewed a ton of on the channel so far. The difference is it does not use lasers to emulate stars. Instead, it uses photographed or generated images on disc slides and projects that onto the ceiling of your roof. Now I have covered a few home planetariums in the past, including the $600 mega star projector extraordinaire, the Dark Skies DS1, and I've also taken a look at the popular Sega Flux. Those are two very popular options if you are into home planetariums. Today, we're seeing how the Pococo home planetarium stacks up as a budget home planetarium. It comes in at about a third of the price of the Sega Flux. This is the body design. It has a rather nice colored gradient paint job on it, which I happen to quite like. It also comes in a white, plain white variant if you prefer that. It has a small glass lens here at the top. This is the focus ring around the center of the lens. Swinging around to the side here, this is where we load our discs into. Pop them in right there, pop it back in. We have three buttons on the base of the projector first button being the power on. It is a battery powered projector. It does have a little battery in there. The second button here, which is the rotation button, that is do you want the projected scene to rotate. Basically it has a little motor inside that rotates the disc. And the third button, which is a sleep timer. You can set a 15, 30 minute or 60 minute sleep timer. After that time has passed, it just shuts off. So fairly simple user interface. We have a USB-C on the base as well. And it does have some tilt action on the base here for you to point it at your ceiling. This is the box design that it comes with. And inside the box, they do give you a USB-C cable no power brick, and they give you two scene discs. They include a Diamond Stars disc, and I guess they give you a bonus disc too. Now, beyond that, there are a ton of additional discs. The box basically looks like that, and all the discs are inside. The discs themselves are the size of a quarter. You pull the tray out. There are two flat sides to this circle, which you just want to align in the tray and then pop it in the tray. So once you've powered on your projector and you've pointed it at your ceiling, you're gonna to wanna to use that top focus ring to basically get it as much in focus as you can. You can get about the center in focus, but do note that you won't be able to get the entire image in focus. This is fairly standard between all of these star projectors I've seen, but just something to note so you don't think you have a broken projector or anything like that. So we're taking a look now at some of the results that I get when I was projecting this in my own space here. It is quite hard to fully block all the light in my space. I've done the best I can. As you can see, the projector is in the middle of the room, pointing upward towards my concrete ceiling. I do not have a totally flat ceiling and there are lines running through my ceiling. So don't think that's part of the disc or anything. That's just the surface of my ceiling in particular. But this is pretty much what it's looking like to get a feel for it. I did find after testing about 20 discs that the one it comes with, the Diamond Stars disc, is the cleanest disc in terms of uh, the clarity and the sharpness of the image. I did do a very quick comparison with the Sega Flux with their own Diamond Stars disc, which is quite similar. That's what you're looking at now on screen. I don't know, hard to tell. Is the Sega Flux worth three times the amount of money? versus the Pococo projector. I will say the discs on the Sega Flux are about three times the size. So they are higher resolution discs. In practice, I do think we're getting a little bit more output and clarity through the Sega Flux, but you'd be hard pressed to tell. Honestly, if you are looking for a budget home planetarium, you might wanna highly consider this as they do make a ton of different disc options to buy. Make sure you're in a completely dark room when you do this. You're gonna get far better results. I actually took this into my bathroom, which is completely dark. And to my amazement, it worked really well. It gave a really cool effect. 
especially when I used the jellyfish disc. With the reflections off the mirror, it, it totally had a crazy effect. I think that would be really appealing if you want to create some mood or ambiance. It does really transform a space when you use it like that. Try it out in your bathroom if you do get it or any, any room really, any smaller room where you can you know, completely block all the light. It definitely creates a really dreamy effect. You can definitely use this as a lighting tool to create a sense of ambiance in your own space. Totally, totally works for that. As always, click the link in the description to check out any current deals and the price of this thing. Let me know what you guys think down below of the Pococo Home Planetarium Galaxy Projector. If you're curious to check out my other Home Planetarium videos that I've done, I put the links in the description to that as well. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination and happy stargazing. <laughs>